Hey everybody, welcome to the point of no return. We've gone too far and now we can't come back. This is Tommy, Diana, and Mandy. We all were at the unnameable last time. And, Inevitably. Yeah, and we did not make it out. Well, we made it out, but we didn't win. Uh, anyway, we're on a new one, new pack. Travis, go for it. Check the campaign log. Randolph survived the descent. Yes. Good job, Randolph. You yeah, finally... This, this one's not... Yeah. yeah. No, this one's good. This is the yeah, one that fine. we're all in on this one being good. Yeah. <laughs> you have finally reached the dreamlands, but it's not as you expected. This cyclopean underworld is far from the wondrous lands and fabulous cities described in Virgil Gray's writings. Wow. Perhaps the author never ventured this far underground, never found the horrors that lurk beneath the surface of the dreamlands. You suspect you would not have left out tales of such a spine-chilling nature. As you venture into the dark, barren realm, you raise your concerns with Randolph. It is true that we are farther from your companions than we intended, he affirms. However, if I may offer another sentiment, perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. Clearly the underworld has something to do with the creatures invading our reality. I suggest we investigate further while we have the chance. We can return to the surface of the dreamlands once we have discovered the truth. Oh. You ask Randall if he has any leads, and he steps to the edge of a jagged cliff overlooking the cavernous realm below. I've been here before, he says quietly, getting his bearings. Those walls in the distance belong to the city of the Gugs. To the south is a stretch of plains that looks over the vale below. That plain is where the ghouls live. Perhaps there we can learn more. You raise your doubts aloud, wondering if such creatures are even capable of peaceful conversation. They're more intelligent than you think, and could be quite helpful if we could convince them to aid us. In fact, there is one I count on one of my friends, an artist by the name of Richard Pickman. Yes. If we were fortunate enough to find him, that might be our best chance. You still have your doubts, but at least now you have a plan. Whether or not it is a good plan remains to be seen. Uh, we're going to start and play the Vaults of the Zin. <sighs> Richard Upton Pickman, he's an ally in the other games. Does yeah. that mean he's a ghoul that dreams he's a human, or is a human that dreams he's a ghoul? He's a human that becomes a ghoul. Oh. He is trapped. In one of the other stories of Ralph Carr, he gets like trapped in the... Dreamlands? No, in like a... I mean, like, it ends up being the Dreamlands, but, like, <laughs> that's where the ghoul is like. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he gets trapped in, like, a... Um, what's Whoa. it called? A tomb. Oh, okay. And he becomes cool. Nice. Yeah. Lucky guy. Uh, we were using... Uh, version 2? Yeah, version 2, because Ronald survived. Nice. A wave of pain and nausea washes over you. Check the number of tally marks recorded at next two steps of the bridge. Zero? Zero. <laughs> Neat. Uh, nothing happens. Oh! Oh, okay. What a twist! <laughs> yeah. Uh, locations and point of return. Um, they're story cards. Yep. So treat them yep. like that. You can't flip over once. And veiled. Um, as a lightning bolt, you can flip over a veiled location. If it has no clues? If it has no clues. Cool. All right. Um, so, a sinister realm, five doom. Entering the Underworld version 2, you've succeeded in reaching the Dreamlands. Good job, everybody. After an enemy with one or more clues on it is defeated, we take control of each of those clues. Okay. Objective, find Richard Upton Pickman. You will be instructed when to advance. Vaults of Zin is a three-shroud, three-clue location with Victory 1. Plane of the Ghouls connected to it, uh, both those have veiled, is Gug enemies cannot enter the Plane of the Ghouls. If a Gug enemy would spawn at the Plane of the Ghouls, spawn at the City of Gugs instead. Four shroud, three clues. City of Gugs says after you enter the city of Gugs, flip it over and resolve the text on the other side. Sh uh, two shroud, three clues. And the Tower of Koth is an action test fist five to lift the heavy stone trap door at the top of the tower. If you succeed, flip this card over and resolve the text on its other side. That sounds like a job for big muscle boy Tommy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The game has begun. I have an ace of swords. <laughs> nice. I also have a charisma set to the side. Yeah, me too. I'm lead investigator for this, yeah, right? But Mandy, you can go first. Okay. I'm just going to play you're this so ready. fat man and investigate. <laughs> Six just, three. Just do what I do. Yeah. That is minus X, where X is the amount of damage on this card. So zero. Nice. Thanks, Faye. I have dice for my clues. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said thank you. Yep. Uh, then we're just going to we're just gonna get this out of the way. Put my research library in and find my weakness. But also search for an additional thing. Nice. Um, I think the weakness cancels all the effects of the search. Oh, probably. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully I just get monster when you guys can beat up. Yeah. I love punching things. 
This guy's like, this have guy you seen beat. this? Like, Unexpected ambush. Thorough enemies in play. Take one damage and one horror. Easy. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> so take one damage and one horror? Yeah, this guy ate it. Oh, eat yeah. it. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to give you a solemn vow to protect you for the rest of my life. Yay. Action one is going to be, huh. we're going to look for a weapon. I'm the favorite, Brent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's pretty fair. I am actually secretly working for the other team. So that looks like Becky. You're not the only one. <laughs> Probably. <clears throat> so action two is we're just going to play Becky. Just get her out there. Becky. Um, and then action three, we're going to draw a card. All right. I'm going to actively make the game worse for us. Thanks, bud. Thanks. That's what you do, though. Don't even worry about it. I'll spin this. Whee! Yeah, I'll whiff. That's fair. You should tell me you're going to do that, because then you could have uh, you could whiffed twice. <laughs> <laughs> I but actually, though, like looking at. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could look at like six cards. Yeah, that's like way better. Yeah, that is way better. You're right. It's okay, we don't need to play optimally. This is the group that's doing good. <laughs> I'm going to play a Holy mm -hmm. Rosary. Nice. Um, it's because it's the, they get the easy encounters. I don't have to put uh, around the Dreamlands. But we are in the Dreamlands. Like we are now. Game but resource. Uh, it's fucking awesome. weird. It's fucking an Eldrazi. Oh, it's a Gug. Uh, cards and resources? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would make sense that it's a Gug. Bong. Nice. Hey, lumbering gug. Hey. Oh, that's pretty big. He's a big boy. He is large. <clears throat> what kind of location is this? This is a... Nothing, hey? Yeah. No subtype. <laughs> what a twist. Wild. Right on. Uh, let's all lose one resource then. Sure. Screen. Because <clears throat> that's what this stair is. <clears throat> yeah, Hunting like gas does different things depending on what. Nice. After hunting gas, there's a location with a gug enemy. Ready each gug enemy as location and deal one damage to hunting gas. What an idiot! <laughs> it's because they attack the gugs. Oh yeah, gugs and ghouls hate each other. But this guy just came to the wrong place. Like yeah. this gug just walked. No, gas and ghouls. Er, gasts and gugs hate each other. Ghouls hate gugs too. Yeah, but everyone like, hates a gug though. Let's be real. Well, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> kind of. All right, I'll, I'll spin this. Help me. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. Would you like six instead? Sure, I'll take six. Okay, you can do it this six. round. You're welcome. Sick. <laughs> I'll find this deny existence. Nice. Put it in my hand. Cool. Um, well. How much punch you got? Four? What, me? Yeah. Two, three. I got three. Mm. That's what my numbers are. Except for brain, which is currently two. You can try punching this guy once. If you hurt me, I'll just give it to Justin. Teamwork. Yeah, right. I don't think Justin's helped me this time. <laughs> I might be able to help you. Like, okay, six health. Yeah, I'm not scared of anything. This is my job. <laughs> um... Yeah, right. We'll give him. We'll give him like one punch. Just flat three to three two. To two. Three to two. Anyone can do it. It's you, Brim. Boom! You did. I don't even have any cards to put in my hand. That's cool. Thanks, bud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm the best. I had faith in you. Um. Well, I'm gonna run over here. <laughs> and because uh, Gugs cannot enter there. <laughs> no, that's not it at all. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Draw a gug. Shiny. Yeah. To get the highest value. Draw a gug. Really though? How about no? Oh, his brain is getting bigger with mm. every passing I will place. put this under my thing and oh. gain a resource and draw a card. See, purple's fun to play. You get to cheat to get the game. Well, yeah, you get to cheat the game, but like in a different like. Oh, that's cool. His weakness. <laughs> oh, that was my last action. 
No, if it was my weakness, you'd know it just like reveals on when you draw it. Uh, I'm just gonna try to ask. And I would just take a horror. Sure. And by I would, I mean this arcane initiate would take a horror. Yeah, whatever you can say here for now. Six to whatever game has got going on here. Three. Take a clue, thanks, Faye. I will investigate again. Oh, yes, uh, I'm going to use this dice to indicate how many cards are currently in my basement. Take a clue. Uh, then I will flip the thing. I'm like bad Lola Hayes right now. <laughs> Hisses and uncanny voices pursue you throughout the web of his dark and intersecting tunnels. You believe... No, it's not snakes. God. You believe the varied paths might lead all the way to the surface of the dreamlands, considering the vastness of this network of caverns. It's a wonder you can even find your way back to where you started. However, you are not alone when you emerge. He gets a clue and a damage because there's a gut here. Sure. Engage our location. I assume that you're better. You're yeah. cool with having him. And then shuffling counter deck. Um, now I'll play Murder's Catch. Good luck, Justin. Thanks. You got this, bud. Yeah. Remember when you said this is what you do? Yeah, this is what I do. This is what I'm built for. Uh, are you done, Travis? Yeah. All right, we're going to shoot this gug viciously. Sick. So I have seven, nine to his four. Sick. So he'll take Blue on his arms uh, Holy two, shit. four damage. Brin's just hanging out with his plane of ghouls and you see a gug arm go flying up in the air. He's like, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> sure, I'm glad I'm not over there. Uh, we're going to use my other ammo on him. Mm -hmm. And here's Tommy yells, Becky, yes. <laughs> seven to four. <laughs> Becky, yes. <laughs> We miss. That's not great. <clears throat> I'd offer to come help you, but there's really nothing I can do. Yeah, uh, same with me. I'm so like actually low low. We're just gonna punch this hunting guest. You gonna get yourself a clue? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And you know, this guy's gonna then evade himself. Flipping over this vault was in actually kinda sucked. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. I got a clue <laughs> out of it, so not that it would change what you did on your turn, but... Um, Alright, enemy phase. This guy chonks me for a metric fuck ton. That is, like, a lot. Wow. Cards and resources. This is not the kind of the part I need to be seeing. Alright. Bong. Ooh, a terrible secret. I'll take a horror. Oh, mm yeah. -hmm. I mean, you'll take a horror. Whoa. Nice try. Or just a initiate. basic ghoul. <laughs> Yeah. That's the nicest card I've drawn in a long time in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you just you just two? <laughs> That's all you got, bud? You got right two? Uh, I can't play the game this turn. Ancient evils. Do, 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 do. I'll so we're at four. Spin this at the first possible window. Uh, I want my thing this turn, I think. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not even on your space. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm going to find this board of protection. Sick. That would be really good when you could play events. Yeah, I know, right? Um... <laughs> I gotta get this arcane initiate killed. For <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> I think we'll want to get out of here, Travis. <laughs> yeah, Bruno, you're gonna be able to get that clue on the plane of the ghouls. <sighs> Probably not. My brain score is three. Okay, I will work on that then. So, like, like even right if, now. Even if I. Well, yeah. Let's say no. Let's say no. Coming on in, gonna investigate. Six four. Minus zero. Okay, give me that clue. Looks Thanks, like Faye. It. Yeah, why not? It wasn't that great last time, but also not that bad. If the investigators put us through fewer than nine clues, we have actually seven. We're doing pretty good. Uh, try as you might, you cannot make any headway with creatures dwell in this region. Flip this card back over, come back when you have a greater insight in this region. This card may be flipped over again when you array. So we need nine? Yep. Cool. Uh, then I will play. Okay, and initiate the end is nigh. Uh, let's just let's so, do it. Justin, my plan is just to come over here and gauge this. Oh, like, sure. Draw a card or something. Sure, sure. That'll allow me to potentially draw something to deal with yeah. this gug. I need an ally. Let's so my board dies. Dies. You can take your turn, Justin. I'm looking right, cool. for nine cards. Uh, Bruno, you go first. Yeah. Um, the staple. I'll move in here. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking. Yeah, do what you do first. Whether yeah. I should draw the card first. 
Because like he'll just kill into this during the enemy phase, then and then there's like no pressure to kill it this turn. Yeah. Yeah, I'll draw the card first. Sure. And then I'll take that guy. I think I like you. Because I can't play asset servants. Alright, we're gonna draw a card. And that's like most of what my deck is. So I'm gonna draw a card. No, I think. good god. Yeah, we're gonna take those guys, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess I'm drawing a card. What the fuck? Alright. Can't find any kind of soak. Yep. That's tough. Yeah. Or like way to fight good. Yeah, Becky uh is only good with scoop. It's better with soap. <laughs> Alright, uh enemy phase. That guy bonks ya. Goodbye, Arcane Initiate. Uh cards and resources. Alright. You are something. Bryn, I need you to just take him this turn. Okay. But everything's gonna be a-okay. Daddy's here. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not not Preston's daddy, a different daddy. Evil card for me is Hypnos. Choose a skill. Alright, everybody. Everyone's foot is minus two this turn. No. Oh. Bryn, stop it. Your tormenting voices is gone. So you're not cheating. Fuck this card. Who knew it's a brain test? Oh, you know what? Yeah, no, we can just put it on. Put it on the rosary. We'll put one on the rosary. I uh, will put this into my basement and like gain <laughs> my resource back and draw a different card. It's yeah. nice having three zeros in there. Yeah. Okay. That might be good. Maybe. Probably not. Okay. Well, I'm. Wait. I'm gonna go first. That's cool. I can kill the gug. The big gug. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I, I also go for might it. be able to kill the big gug. Sure. I do it for free. Go for it, then. Come on I in. I play Ancient Stone. It has nine secrets on it. It'll use purple. This is the damage one. Nice. And then I will move in here. Then I will spin Mr. Rook for nine cards and draw two of them. Nice. And then I will be spending two secrets to deal two damage to an enemy in my location. It's going to be the gug. Kill the ghoul. <laughs> Roll down. I mean, nine. That's I have to even take this have, 13th division. Real big and dumb. As well. So I still get two more. Oh my god. Uh, we're going to take Astounding Revelation for this trigger. Like, this doesn't count as a card game, but it's going to put clue on Mr. Rook. And then I get to take, like, real cards. I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you. This stays in play. This goes to my discard. These get shuffled in. And I get to do one more thing this turn. Why are you laughing? No, I'm just happy for you. It's like a, it never ends. It doesn't. Yeah, we'll get this out there. I'll play this Strange Solution Level 4 Empowering Elixir. This is all that people gain resources and draw cards. <laughs> oh, I would love to do that. It was randomly selected. <laughs> I know you'd love to do that. I don't have any actions this turn, but... So greedy. <laughs> <laughs> and I gave you a solemn vow to protect you forever. I killed the gug. Hey, I have a solemn vow, Brit. <laughs> Thanks. Everyone's my friend. I'm just going to dump horror on you right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to gain a resource. I would. And then action two, we got Brother Xavier. Okay. There's a lot of bullets inside of this human. Um, I'm just gonna grab this guy. But he didn't bring any uh, guns to shoot him with himself. That'd be anti-Christian. No, he brought a gun to shoot him with himself. Really? Yeah, he's got a gun in one hand and a Bible in the other. Oh, okay. I don't look that close to the yeah. That's me. I what kind of gun is it? Is it a revolver? No, it's like an automatic oh, okay. pistol. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't have anything I'm going to play De Vermis Mysterious and attempt <laughs> to continue making the game more difficult for my teammates. <laughs> I dig I'll it. move in here. I will exhaust this. Oh, oh, when you yeah, move in, you have to, to, yeah. to flip this. The kingdom of the Gugs is surrounded by a colossal wall. Inside, cylindrical towers rise high into the mist, each one windowless and made of gray stone, with large looming doorways at the bottom. One black tower stands paramount among the others. Sauron, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Rising into the very ceiling of the underworld. You do not make it very far before you spot the sentry standing guard outside the city's walls. A tremendous creature with huge furry arms and an obscene toothy maw extending vertically through oh, its shit. head. Oh, shit. 
So it does. Set aside ghost no, like sentinel enemy at this location with one per investigator clues on it. Test foot three. If I succeed, he enters play exhausted and unengaged. Otherwise, he's my friend. Uh, yeah, right. Hypnos makes it minus two to all foot checks. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, <that>. fuck. Fine. <laughs> Hypnos, the rule of Hypnos. We were pretty much just always like, fuck shit. <laughs> shit out of the time, so. This guy's gonna. He's a pretty big boy. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was about as good as you could hope for. Yep. You're my friend. Uh, is Mythos? Mythos is start of the round. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I would have already used up my cancel effect. Just remember, Justin, you failed uh, fail uh, ties of allocation. Cool. This is going to be here forever, probably. Because I just, I never tie. Yeah, I mean, Anytime I, I make, actually yeah, make I skill like tests, I'm I just follow with the book requirement. <laughs> yeah. All right, enemy phase. <clears throat> I'm going to cancel the meat damage that he would deal. Nice. Why? Wow, you can just give it to Justin. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. That's what Justin's here for. In a one dimensional way. In the same vein that I'm here to get clues, Justin's here to take damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's that. Uh, yeah. A sudden wave of pain and nausea passes over you, and for a brief moment, it seems the very fabric of reality is tearing apart. The feeling passes quickly, but it's obvious that something is not quite right. Shelf the encounter discard pile into the deck, and uh, place one damage on the scenario reference card. Beset by monsters, as you continue to explore, the creatures of the underworld grow agitated and begin to pursue you as if compelled by some unseen force. Hint, the game will not necessarily end when this agenda advances, but the stability of reality will continue to unravel. Hey, another one of these ones. We right get to on. play the game forever. And it just gets really hard. Yeah, really hard. <laughs> Hell yes. Uh, it's a good thing that we didn't have things on this new reference card. We didn't have steps or whatever garbage that yeah. we talked about. Okay. Uh, evil card for me is none other than a brain test. Brain. Four to three. Me. Hello. Taste for lifeblood. Wow, passed. Brain three. Easy. One. Um, I'll place one of my clues on the nearest enemy. Because he's just going to die anyway. <clears throat> okay, we got to help Brain. <laughs> uh, you want me to kill your ghoul for free? Yeah, that'd be great. I will spin Mr. Rook real fast. Nine cards. You know, you guys know the thing. Six, seven, eight, nine. Um, Nine, eight. Research is going to be astounding. Revelation. The research is <laughs> astounding. <laughs> it really is. I'm actually going to gain two resources with this one. And then I'm going to take... Uh, and then I drew two cards, so I'm going to spend two Ancient Stones and chunk your boy. That clue's yours? Yeah, it was. Oops. Um, so am I going first, or...? Yeah, you go first. Okay, I will play this Dream Enhancing Serum. For <laughs> first action. Uh, for my second action, I will shortcut Justin in there. Hey! Ooh, that might have been bad. I might hurt you a little bit. That's fine. I'll, I'll take damage. For my second actual action, I'll play... Um, I mean, I can go first, right? Like, if do you have a plan for all this? Sure. No, I'm going to use my second my third action to get rid of this 13th vision, I think. Yeah, good call. 
get that out of here. What's your plan, Brynn? Um, I mean, like, it's not great. Oh, okay. But that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> not every plan is. I've got a storm of spirits. Oh. No, that's I'm a great plan. Fire at this ghoul minion because he's dumb and weaker. Uh, I'm testing four to two. Nice. nice. Perfect. You don't even get hurt. I'm the best. Two damage to everybody? Yeah, we do two damage to each enemy. Nice. Why would Justin care about down. two of me damage? What? No, it just does like a little bit of damage to him. That's all. So he has six health remaining? Yeah, yeah. Um, this is some of the super worth Action experience. number two. I'm gonna gain a resource, watch him try to attach, attack me, but get out of the way. Oh, and then your brain gets bigger. Yeah. I just see your head go <laughs> So I gain my resource, play this, put it under me, gain a resource, draw a card. Big brain plays for brain. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Three. Yeah. Three brains now. Oh, I got more. How do you like that game? You should play this Dream Enhancing Serum to counteract your drawing the sign weakness. Because I only have five cards in hand. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm probably done. After. I guess I'll try to evade him at three to three because there's no penalty for failure. Yeah, no alert on this guy. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Fine. <laughs> game, don't give me that shit. Yeah. <laughs> the game's like, you shouldn't have taken this action anyway. Uh, it's... <sighs> Does he ever retaliate? No. Alright, what's the... Is there any penalties for failing tests in this one? Squid is minus three. If you fail by two or more, choose a ready enemy at your location or a connecting location. The enemy moves your location, engages you, makes an immediate attack. Ooh. Are enemies considered <laughs> to have readied if they were not exhausted? I don't think so. Okay. I think your thing's gotta be exhausted to ready. It's just like an anti uh, exhaust thing. Yeah, yeah. Anti evasion. This one's just like a D does damage. Uh, and then, like, Cultus is you reveal another token. If you fail, you draw a top card in your counter deck after the test ends. All right. So, yeah, they're pretty, uh, they, they, they punish you. All right. Let's see how it is. Okay. And Tombstone is key helps us, but he's not here. Key makes a, the black cat actually makes an appearance in the story as well. Uh, Mr. Randolph Carter feeds him some cream in a place, and then that's why the cats go to save him on the moon. Okay. Is because he tells his grandfather, who's, like, hey. the leader of the cat militia or whatever. <laughs> And he's like, you were really nice to my grandson. Gain a resource first, then engage him, and we're gonna punch him once. Ralph Carr's like, my god. It's a good thing I treat cats not like garbage. Um, he's like, you didn't, you didn't give them crap for eating the zoogs. <laughs> we'll seven, like, seven, right, to five. Seven to five is pretty all right. Minus three. Minus three, I don't fail by two or more. Alright, this boy punches me. He's going to. Oh, um, oh. I would like to use this to put a horror on you. Sure, I'm gonna put it on Brother yeah. Xavier. Yeah. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Six bullets! <laughs> uh, two damage to this guy. So then he readies at the end of the round, so we will each take a horror. I won't. I should have taken an extra horror then. Sure. Like, if he. It, like, I don't, I don't know, do they ready if they're not exhausted? They, they exhaust yeah. when they attack. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That weird rule that's now becoming relevant yeah, with guys. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, me neither. Hmm. Alright, but cards and resources, everybody. I'm ready to fight, like... I know you guys complain about this game's easy. I haven't even taken damage yet. Let's see, here's six cards in hand. Bong, zoop, zoop, zoop. Test brain three of each point you fail by. Place one of your clues on your equation. Place one of your clues. Oh, he is not like God, getting gonna shoot him. Yeah. Three all. Okay. Uh, so I have to take one damage for one of them, and then this guy gets another clue. Uh, we're all gonna lose a resource. Zoop. Because that's what this one does. I'll spin Mr. Rook. Spin Mr. Rook, spin! Nine card, you guys. It's the same as always is. <laughs> Eight, nine, yeah. Okay, we are going to take you and. Oh, yeah, this card's broken. You. And I'm gonna spend. I'm drawing two cards, so I'll spend two resources off my Ancient Stone to kill this Hunting Ghast. 
this card is insane. <laughs> um, and then I drew a segment of Onyx off of him, and I'm revealing another segment of Onyx to exhaust this to draw a card. One more to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I have three actions left. <laughs> I'll come to your guys' location, I guess. We need these clues at some point, eh? Like, probably, yeah. Yeah, I can get one of them. Or two of them. I can get two of them, actually. I'll investigate at 6-2, whatever the game's got. Two. Oh, okay. Minus two. I will take a clue. Thanks, Fatty. And I have one action remaining. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can get one of them, you say, Bryn? Oh, I can get two of them. Five, six, seven. This one's got none. Clues? Yeah. I'm hoping to kill this guy this turn. Yeah, yeah. And then get four. I'm, I'm just going to play my emergency cash. Gotcha. Actually, how many cards you got ahead, Justin? Three. My maximum. Okay. <laughs> you're fine, though. You're good, you're good. Yeah, actually, do you, have, do you have like a way to take damage in your hand? No. Okay, we'll, we'll spend. I would love a card if you Yeah, I was gonna, one. I'm gonna spend one of these on you because I played it. I got a card and a resource? Two resources. Oh, even better. Yep. That's a good card. Bryn, why don't you go? Because I'm just gonna be shooting this man. I love this dream enhancing serum. I have eight cards in my head. Oh, <laughs> it's so <laughs> fun. Nice. It's so much fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'm probably, I just want to play her again. She's so much fun. Yeah, she seems fun. I'm frozen in fear. Alright. <coughs> well, I was going to move. But no, I'm not. I'm going to play this prepared for the worst. This doesn't care about where we were at. Alright, I'll take a spirit attack. Are you going to flip the sea of the gugs? You want me to? Oh, that's oh we already flipped yeah. it, right? Yeah, that's when you walk in. Yeah. If you can kill the thing Justin's got, Bryn, then like... I can no longer attack. Oh, yeah. That's, that's your last action? Yeah. Uh, no, like, I, I have one left, but I can't He's spend just, the extra right, right, yeah, yeah. It'll cost me. I'm going to play uh, nothing and gain a resource. Sick. Alright, well, we're going to shoot this guy. We have seven. I want to get to eight. Seems like a good number to get to. Eight to five. Yeah, he'll take two damage. Nice. Let's go one more. And another eight to five. He's dead. I also should have done Four this. clues, Justin. So here, Brent, he's a minus one. So much information fell out of this meat man. Minus two. I've got four, five. We're good. And I have one action remaining. I probably want to stay here just in case you guys draw something. But I mean, Travis can kill literally. A three health minion, so... Yeah, for free. Yeah. Kind of. Um, maybe, do you want to start... One of us needs to go back to the plane of the ghouls. I was yeah, thinking of going here I to try it. to open up the tower. Okay, that's fair. Cool, so I'll move there then. Get out of here, Mandy. All right, cards and resources. If there's an enemy in my location, I could deal damage, yeah. Bong. That's right, I don't get to draw that one. I'm gonna I have an internal injury. discard a copy I of take one damage discovery one to hand size. Nope, I can't. This doesn't do anything. I'm gonna discard this cult evidence. Okay. Whoa, well, grasping hands. I guess it makes sense. There was ghouls in the deck. Get <laughs> out of your game. 
What is your evil card, Travis? Probably Enchantments. <clears throat> no, it's Rhyme Remains. Easy. It is, actually. Especially that Mr. Rook has no secrets on him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like. Oh no, you do fail. Yeah. Poor guy. Yeah, that's okay. He's like, oh, a corpse of a ghoul. Alright, I meet Shield. Uh, let's try to break this open. We're just gonna go five all. And just not draw the ones that make me fail. See? Like that. Told you, told you guys watching at home. There's just gonna be some kind of gug behind the door. <clears throat> step after step, you scale the tower until you reach the heavy trap door at the top. When you push the stone aside, a column of bright light pierces through the shaft, blinding you. The surface! You emerge in an area thick with trees and mystical fog. After so many hours spent underground, the cool breeze feels wonderful. Many curious eyes watch you from the surrounding woods. Though you long to stay and explore more of these wilds, you know your true goal lies back down in the caverns below the surface. Recording your campaign log, we have found a way out of the underworld. The investigators found a way out of the underworld and flip this card back over. And uh, inside, yeah, Chandler Wood, stone trapdoor into play. Revealed. In the campaign log, we found a way out of the underworld? Yes, that seems important. Apparently. Um, so that one is, uh, while you're investigating this location, it gets plus one shroud for each card in your hand. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate <laughs> challenge, Travis. Um, I am going to just come back over here for my last action because I feel like we need to be together. I can't investigate. Bring you cheat the things off that location. I have eight cards in hand. <laughs> I mean, like... So I'm going to go do the ghoul I'm thing? I'm given a little bit of time. Yeah, I'll yeah. do that one. Um, okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I can't Ooh, do ten it. 10 shroud. <laughs> Easy. That's so funny. Victory 2, though. Yes. No, like, that's why I wanted to go do it. I'll gain a resource and play a right of seeking, I guess. Wow. I really like it because that stone trap door was probably there the first time. We were just like, look at this dumb trap door. Yeah. <laughs> and we just walked by it. Yeah. Little do we know, Tommy's wow. going <laughs> to. Imagine if that happened at the same time. Like, that was like weeks ago, probably, though. It was. Yeah, time moves strange in the dream. I will gain a resource as well from my last one here, I think. <sighs> yeah, we'll be on Can I play that for anything? No. If the investigators possess the thing, we have nine. Good job, team. I get it. I'm, I'm bleeding to death. <laughs> well, the brain killer. It's here. <laughs> Having spent considerable time exploring the upper layer, you understand the ghoul's nature a bit more. They're more welcoming than their kin have been in the past, speaking to you in grunting and monosyllabic mono English. Mm -hmm. As you consider your options, you're approached by one of oh. kind who still wears human clothing. Unlike the rest, he's able to communicate with you perfectly. With an air of authority and wisdom about him, he demands to know why you have come to this place. Spend the nine clues. I'll spend four of mine. I'll spend one of mine. Uh, advanced current act. Flip this card back over. Can I actually keep some of mine? Because there's that one that puts clues, and I'm kind of like, yeah, whatever, I'm man. bleeding out over here. So I'm just going to keep four of mine. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Flip the we advance. All right. Randolph gives a shout of recognition as the ghoul approaches. He and the creature shake hands and converse for a short while, after which he introduces you. This is the ghoul I spoke to you about. He's an old friend of mine, and he's offered to guide us through the underworld. He has some dire news, however. Randolph goes on to explain strange happenings have been occurring within the underworld. He tells of dark forces spreading through the veil below the plain of ghouls, of vile weavers that crawl along the walls, and of terrible howling cry that penetrates throughout the realm. All of it, he says, emanates from one place. Okay. An ocean of pitch in the realm's deepest layer. Oh, fuck. Choose an investigator to take control of the set-aside Richard Upton Pickman's story asset from the end of the scenario. If he leaves play, remove him from the game. What does he do? So he... You can, as a lightning bolt, exhaust him to choose a ghoul and at your location and attach him face down. Because he gets he's the leader of the ghouls. Yeah. And then, as an actual action, you can exhaust him to fight. You attack with a base punch of five. Instead of a standard damage attack, it deals damage equal number of face down counter cards attached to Richard up and pick, pick them. <laughs> it's like, you can put you together a ghoul ghouls. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, get him. Um, Who wants him? He doesn't take up an ally slot, so. He also doesn't take brain damage. Because <laughs> Mm. Just, just like, I mean, I kind of want him, but mm -hmm. is it better for someone else? I mean, you could, we all have our things. Oh, fuck it. He's my ghoul friend. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. Nice. Got him. Put each set aside veil location into play. Veiled? Veil. Oh, veil. I see. 
Yeah, yeah, it was like uh, four more. Only four left to put into play. Um, find each striking fear card in the encounter set, even if they are out of play, and remove them from the game. So that's these ones. So that's rotting remains and all that. Yeah. Dang, those are some easy soft cards. Uh, then we shuffle the set aside Terror of the Veil and the Night Gaunt's encounter sets into the encounter deck along with the discard pile. Night Gaunt's. What if I just take out the Ancient Evils, but I don't tell anyone? Which one's Terror of the Veil? Uh, Snake. It just says Terror of the Veil. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> It is Snake. Can you guys guess what the Terror of the Veil is? Is it, a, is it Yig? No. Oh. That was like a good try, though. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good try, Justin. Is it Yog sothoth No, no. It's a... It's is, it, a is it Tommy Muldoon? No. Oh. Uh, the Descent. The way to the Veil below is treacherous. You have to climb down from a place Pikmin calls the Crag of Ghouls, where the creatures cast the discarded remains of their macabre meals. You can only imagine what the depths might be like. Um, after an enemy with one or more clues is defeated, take control of those clues. Yeah. We find a way to the sea of the pitch. Sea of pitch. There's going to be some exposures there. All right, so we're just going to zip all this over. All right, we now have Crater, Crag of the Ghouls, Veil, the first treachery dawn during the mythos phase by an investigator at this location gains surge. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Never going there. <laughs> Sea of Bones! That next? That connects to this. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Sea of Bones. I After you discover one or more clues at Sea of Bones, we flip it over. Not much, I don't think. Yeah. Like, I could probably go and do it, but it would take me like a turn or two. Yeah. Peaks of Thok. Ooh, this is probably up. Nope. Still down. Uh, test foot five to attempt to scale the treacherous peaks. If you can see, flip this card over and resolve the text on the other side. When you leave peaks of thought, you must test foot two to climb down safety. If you fail, take one damage. Eternal injury is over here. It doesn't matter. And we have the <laughs> Veil of Panath. Where does this one? Oh, this one connects to like all of them. Okay, so there's just this kind of little collection up here. Veiled. While there are clues remaining on Veil of Panath, investigators at Veil of Panath cannot play cards or commit cards to skill tests. Sounds like a high priority thing for me to deal with. <clears throat> uh, that being said, I have one action left. I'm gonna rename. You should go here so you can draw two cards in the Mythos phase. Uh, no, I'm gonna rename Mr. Rooks. <laughs> Lease on life, and he's gonna. Eh, maybe actually, we'll just we'll wait on that one because we already have a billion cards in my hand. Who's gone this turn? Oh, fuck. Me. Did I do this this turn, or was that last turn? No, that was this turn. No, that. Yeah. Because, Brent, have you gone? Brent has not gone. I went first. We're good. Oh, no, no, Brenda, you took damage from your internal injury, right? That was last yeah. turn, wasn't it? Um, I mean, like, it might have been, yeah. I think it was. I think I went first, I did this, mm -hmm. now it's your turn. Yeah, now I'm done Bryn. my turn. Bryn! Did you do this this turn? I think so. Okay, because then I've, then I've definitely gone. Because I played this and gained, gained resources, because I was going to try and investigate this, but I don't think I'm doing that anymore. Maybe I haven't gone, because I thought I did this first, but... Uh, yeah, no, I mean, like, if you did this, if you... Did this this turn, then I've played this turn. Dang. I am. What can you? I'm gonna assume I have yeah, gone. Yeah. We we were asking because I was asking who was gonna go do this thing. Yeah. And then you're like, well, I'm gonna do this, and then you went and did it. Sure. Sure. All right. Cards and resources then. Yeah. This flips over. What's the worst can happen? One, two, Again, you are shaken by a sudden feeling of instability as the reality shifts and bends around you. Each investigator must either discard one card at random from their hand or lose two resources. I think I'm scared of you, game. But I didn't draw for the turn. Where came my resource? Um, mm. yeah, yeah, I think no. I'm scared of you, game. I'm not. Shuffle the encounter deck into the discard pile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if there are five or more damage tokens on the scenario card, proceed to resolution two. Otherwise, flip this one back over so we can do that a few more times. Yeah, we got we have some time to play with. Man, I have to reorganize my hand, damn it. <laughs> uh, evil card for me is none other than. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There are no enemies in play. I am happy you're here, brother. I wish I had some way to condense my movement and investigate action so I could jerk around more. <laughs> I 
think I'm going to pitch this internal injury this time. Ooh, yes, I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Just hand one over to Justin. Yeah. Pill yeah. Lizard Man over there. Wings like, of Darkness. You're hurting me. <laughs> What's the central location? Uh, this one. Okay. I mean, like, I'll, I'll like, commit this research library and see how this goes. I might as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Thanks. I did it. Thanks for getting this card. Oh, he's library. really fast. He is really Spry fast. For his age. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he gives you foot. <laughs> oh, he gives you foot because he's really quiet. Maybe. Yeah, he's good at sneaking around. That's Leah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so. One, two. I don't have any damage to give you. Oh, yeah, I guess. No, Bernard gave me that damage. Yeah. yeah. Um, for my last trick. Oh, yeah, I guess I should actually take some damage off me and not just exhaust an asset I control. Yeah, we're damage. just going to get rid of this yeah. instead. We're going to stop with the vaults of Zen. That's me. Because I'm going to draw this next turn and well, get a free move to I'm have some cards two actions. Rock. I've discarded this. Come hang out with me in the vaults of Zen. It's a great place. Um. We were uh, you know. revelation. You know. I really shouldn't do this with someone else trying to take their turn. Because I actually have like effects that depend on it. That's uh, all good. My turn could be taking these two more. I'm doing like almost nothing. <laughs> I'll just move in here. That's it for you, Brent? Yep. Go for it, yeah, Travis. I'm going to pitch this because it will actually kill me. Like that is... That's what it does. 100%. Would you guys believe me if I told you I have seven cards in my hand? No. <laughs> um, by the game rules, yes. By reality, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he found me this uh, standing revelation, which put a secret back on, and I found a second copy for Archaic List, which drew me another card off of the Dream of Hats I will wander on into that vault. Veil. The veil. I can just walk through this place, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to go to the Veil. Sure. They're all technically the Veil. And I can't play... Cards or commit cards to skill tests. Yeah, whatever. I can still draw cards with Mr. Rippel, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll see it here with my 6 to 4. Cool. Thanks, Faye. And that's my actions. Cards and resources. Yeah. Just got eight cards in hand. Yeah, baby. You're not a ghoul! Three. He's three, not a ghoul. Four. Five. Five. Six. Seven. 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 Eight. This is a ghast. Mm, that might be vaguely problematic. Uh, you know what? Maybe we just didn't draw it. Maybe we just didn't draw it. Are you shuffling in? Yep. Thank God. Because uh, that's an encounter card. My card was Gug. So it's effectively cost me one, and I will draw a card, and I will put this under me to have more brain. You drew a Gug? Uh, like, not actually. Because oh. we're going to shuffle the stuff in. Thanks, bud. But yes, I would have drawn a Gug. What do you got? Foot bad. Foot bad. Whispers of hypnos. Okay. This could this didn't go bad last time, so it can't go wrong this time. Go for it, Brent. Prince is actually trying to get out. He's like, I'm not going to a sea of pitch yeah, black. That just sounds <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Let me out of here. I can trigger abilities on cards, right? Here? Yeah, you just can't play cards or commit cards to skill tests. I'm going to play this Olive McBride for action two. No, don't put her in the basement. <laughs> no, Brynn. Don't do, do it. I wouldn't do that to her. She has brain damage left to take from me. <laughs> That's pretty fair. <laughs> um, I'm going to spin this thing here and we'll see what happens. Uh, so this place has like seven. 
but it doesn't if I commit these. It's got five. Well, he's got plus four on that test, essentially. <laughs> six. It's got five, I, uh, my five, six, seven, eight. I could have gotten plus so much to this test. Um, I don't think I, wanna, I, I don't think I want to spin olive on this. Yeah, just commit. Minus three, six, seven, eight. So I have, I have ten book symbols in my hand. Five base. <laughs> this has five. I will discover two clues. Four of the cards in my hand nice. do not have symbols on them. And end my turn, but not because the game says I have to, because like I'm out of action. Me yeah. spin rook. Go rook, go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, oh, none you are. your hand is as big as some people's necks. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, you know. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you are. Who cares about rules? <laughs> three, and then we'll take you. Oh, man. How big of a stone could you have made? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, of the two cards, I'm fine. One of them is this Dream Diary. I have another copy of Dream Diary in my hand. I'll draw nice. a card with my Dream Hensy Serum. Thank you. You're not going to leave the Dreamlands when we're through. Yeah. Man, there, are you? Dream what? <laughs> <laughs> this place is great. Dream Serum is just borrowed from Luke. It's like, you know, normally yeah. it's what he fires in the dream box. <laughs> Investigate. For my first action. 6-4. Minus <clears throat> three. three. I will fail but not have to do the bad thing. Yep. I mean, like, I'm just going to keep trying. What else is there for me to do, you know? One more time. Come on, Faye, I need that resources turn. Minus two. Thanks, bud. It's Faye. All right. Let's fire on this guy. Oh, yeah, right. We're not done yet, eh? <laughs> Seven to three. Six. Reveal another token if you fail. Oh, my God. I have ten cards in my hand now. He'll take two damage. Fire again! Like not useful. He's dead. Um, and then for my last action, we're going to have something worth fighting for. It's Becky, my gun. It's always Becky. Cards and resources? Mm. <laughs> oh. true. One card. Oh, you came to the wrong card, neighborhood. Three card. Hey, deal card, with him, Richard. Five card. Six card. No problem, card, boss. Eight card. Foot is bad. Foot is bad again. I'm discarding these two dream diaries and this emergency cash. Oh. You have eight cards in hand, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I had ten cards in oh, hand. What's your card, actually. Travis? If you believe it, uh, it's Ghoul Minion. All right. Just immediately. <laughs> I already got one of my own. Oh, okay, well this guy's just Heavy. gonna die. There. All right, we're just gonna magic ghoul powers. Can I go first? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you may get fucked, ghoul. Seven. Eight. I will reveal occult evidence. Give me that clue. And then I will add you and, oh man, you, I guess, to my hand, or draw them, sorry, spend two clues off, or two, whatever these are, off my Ancient Stone to nuke a school minion. Get Rex Scrub. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, one of these is a Siphon of Onyx, I have one of those in my hand as well. Oh man, can you use maybe like some segments of Onyx to make like some sort of space and time warping necklace that could just get this clue so I don't have to deal with it? Maybe. Uh, where can I move from here? Uh, you can move here. Is there bad things you that happen if I there. move there? After you discover one or more clues, you flip this over. You also could flip this over. It's veiled. Uh, yeah, I have three clues left, or three actions left. Why not? If the investigators possess at least three clues. Three, five, nine. 
You venture out into the dark veil and attempt to map out your surroundings. With the knowledge you've accumulated, you know that the source of the disturbances within the underworld cannot be in this region. There must be another pathway, perhaps a cavern, a tunnel that leads from the veil to a place even deeper beneath the surface of the dreamlands. As you approach the great stone wall at the far end of the veil, you pick up a foul scent like sulfur and tar. You follow the stench until it leads to a wide hole in the wall. Oh. Spend dark loose. Advanced current act, flip this back over. <coughs> I did not think that this would do this. <laughs> <laughs> the hole becomes narrower and narrower as you make your way through the other side of the stone wall. When you finally emerge, you find yourself at the shores of an enormous ocean of pitch black tar. Webs of glowing violet energy spread across its surface, filling you with an uneasy dread. Could this be related to the horrors you witnessed at St. Mary's Hospital? Just as you're beginning to wonder what to do next, you discover several robots oh, yeah, that in black was wood that we were investigating. moored in a nearby cove. The hull of each is carved with a strange insignia. Is this luck or providence? Either way, you're determined to set off across the sea and trace the madness to its source. Put each set-aside depth's location into play. Shuffle the set-aside descent into the pitch and agents of Achala Naka encounter sets into the encounter deck along with the discard pile. Spider City. Da -da 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 -da. The Black Expanse. Uh, as you traverse the tar-like sea of pitch, you begin to discern patterns in the unearthly web that glows below its surface. Uh, after an enemy with one or more clues is defeated, place those clues on this act. Yeah. Objective, find the, the source of the distortion. Place those clues on this act. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was the same thing. I was also just, oh, it's the same thing. And then yeah. you said act, and I was like, oh, it isn't. Find the source of the distortion. You'll be instructed when to advance. All right, let's, uh, I'm we're still sightseeing. I'm still going to go to the Sea of Bones, I think. Sure. I'm just going to kind of build this all. Oh, these are all. So I can continue my turn. The same. Yeah. X is the number of damage on the scenario reference card. Okay. Uh, and then while I'm here, I'm going to spend three resources and power up these three segment alliances. <gasps> oh! Warp stone engaged. And then we're going to do the thing. Do I think those get set aside? Do they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pen to the queen. Of oh, nothing at all. Purple. Give me that clue. Sick. It's not my problem anymore. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to find three. It's like a, it's like the three of three aces, right? Like you have to find. Do you know how that? Do you know how incredibly easy that'd be if I was trying to do that though, and I had like a thirty card deck? <laughs> like. Oh man, you could use Dr. Ellie to find the pieces of the necklace and then you'd be like, get out of here, Dr. I just Ellie. stumbled into this. this. Yes. Or I could just use this man over and over again like I have oh, been. Yeah. Um, I have an action left. I have two actions left. I'm going to investigate one time here. <clears throat> oh, right. I have to flip it if I get... Uh, uh. That can't be a bad thing. Okay. Wow. It's impossible. You think the game would just do bad things to you? Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Carrying is our second action for a big play here then. I'm playing archaic glyphs. Guiding stones. Three charges on you. And two shroud here. Two shroud. Okay, we're gonna use the archaic glyphs. This is the Rex Murphy one. Nice. So I'm currently at six. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Seven, Mandy. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, two is fine. Twelve, two seems okay. Yep. Why not? <laughs> okay. Get two clues? Uh, I get... For every two points you fail by discover... I, for every two points oh. I succeed by, I get an addition. I get all of them. Yep. Nice. I get to, uh, to resolve this real quick. Sure, welcome to the party, friend. You know, whatever. Oh. Is it oh, bad? Oh, no. Is it bad? It's not nice. Traversing the canyon of cadavers and monstrous remains is lab laborious enough, but it is the churning and digging below the surface that has caused you to hate this awful place. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> what sort of monstrosity could span the entirety of this ocean of bones? Your answer presents itself as you come across a great pit in the ravine. It is swallowing the bones and scraps of rotten meat like a whirlpool. When you reach the base of the tunnel and realize its true purpose, a shudder courses through you. It was made by an enormous creature, the thing that dwells below the sea of bowls. 
Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a dole tunnel and attach this location if able. Dole tunnel. The dole can spawn here, is what that means. <laughs> and then like all the places that have dole tunnels are connected as far as the dole is concerned. Okay. There's a lot of text for basically that. Cool. I guess the Solon Bow is ready, but that's okay. I'm very far. Oh, away. yeah, thanks, Faye. That's all my options. I also gotta put a bunch of clues out. Three, three. I can't believe these strange solutions don't take up slots. That's ridiculous. Easy turn. One, two, three. Sick. Um, I'm can't gonna fire off. I prepared for the worst. Because, like, yeah, maybe we'll find it this time. And five days later, Brent will be back here. <laughs> If only you had the pen to the Queen Brand, you could just be here. Sick. I'll move to his location. I have found Leave me all alone. <laughs> just walk over there and walk back because I can. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Brand! Roll, roll! <laughs> Take me with you! <laughs> I'm gonna get two resources. That's so good. Nice. Alright, cards and resources, everybody. Stand up, lazy bones! One, game. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in my hand. Excuse hey, me. I'm gonna get rid of. You're not a ghoul. Oh, this is. That's okay. Roof from fiction, I think. Yeah. We're just gonna get chalked for like a little bit of damage. It'll be fine. Yeah, this one. Yeah, actually, no, it's not. I think I'd rather get rid of Randall Carter. Although we could just try to kill him. You are pretty weak. What is your evil card? There's Brain Toast. <laughs> Easy. I'm gonna pull my quiz location, no problem, just take him back. Like I did last turn. No, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna read these locations now. Oh, so I just go to the make the clues. And then yeah, and then one of them is probably the right one. Huh. Cool. Uh, you go to one, then I'm just gonna basically just hang out with you and play your bodyguard. Okay, I'll go to one you can pick, Justin. Oh, one. All the way at the bottom, two. Okay. Oh no, you just move there? Free! Yeah. Because you have the Queen's pendant! Yeah, I still have three actions left. You discarded him? <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> Do you know how much more valuable He's Mr. Rook is? He's our friend! Do you know how much more useful Mr. Rook is? Yes, incredibly. Yes, yes. Uh, that's no no doubt. Um. Hey, Justin, if I were to be where you were, do you think you could give this guy like a little shout one time? Like, I mean, just I like a little pow pow. Yeah, we'll just like say, hey, get in, get in the back, Billy! What are you doing out here? Get in, loser. Oh, uh, we're gonna spin Mr. Rook to see what we can get off yeah. of this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <sighs> That's shit. Let's take those. I'm running out of good cards. <laughs> I'm running out of cards that do things. Then I shall could do that. It's too shroud. Like I'm getting the archaic list. Six. Seven. Eight nine. Nine to two. Yeah, give me all the clips. Thank you. Would you like to lightning bolt it? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I've done it fearlessly so far. 
From the depths of the pitch black ocean, the creatures suddenly emerge. Damn it. They are similar to spiders in shape, but that is where the similarities end. Their bodies begin to be made from the same tarry substance oh. as the ocean itself, and their eyes glow crimson red in the dark fog over the sea. The spiders surround your vessel and attempt to pull it and you into the depths. Shuffle the encounter discard into the encounter deck and discard cards until we hit a spider. Spawn it here with three clues on it. Oh, three clues, you say? If it's swarming, place those clues on the host enemy. I'm flip this back over. Spider. Nice. Spider. Spider. Grey Weaver. No. <clears throat> just in. I'm coming. Okay, I you have... might have to just like take a tank, like take a shot. They got two actions left. <clears throat> are these seas located to beside each other? Yes, they are. Okay. Well, I'm gonna shortcut to your location. Hello, friend. Please hey. help. Please assist me. <laughs> Then, uh, three foot. I guess I'll try to evade it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Minus two. I'm lucky. Wow. Cool. Bryn, why don't you go next? Take a look, it's in a book. I still have an action left. Oh, go for it. <laughs> All I did was investigate oh, <laughs> and evade it. <laughs> you know how I'm you know how it feels to play with you, Brent? Yeah, but like I I have an excuse. Yeah. No, I'm I gonna play this different seen. ancient stone, it's the same one, but it's full. Nice. <laughs> That's actually all my actions. Yeah, the purple die. Uh, behold, it is a spell event. Played for one less from my discard pile. Nice. He's coming. Uh, I'll take some damage from this guy. Cool. Um, you can take one of the horror, though. Because that's actually what you're for. Uh, any revealed location like this one. Hey! We're all friends. We're all friends. The gang's back together. Oh, no, I dropped my book. That's sick. Oh no, that's an astral travel yeah, thing. Yeah, it's part of the astral okay. travel thing. I can discard an <laughs> item or an, or an ally, and I think the soak is more important to me than the book is now. Do it, Justin. Help her. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess I have two more actions. I'll give you one of my damage, though, please. Sure. Bring it to the gang. Um, I guess I'll try to avoid th evade this guy. No. No, I, I wanted to actually punch Bryn. So do something where he punches you. I'm gonna. I want to kill Brother Xavier. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I was like, just what are you doing? Yeah. I'll give I, you I, want brother, gang. I want Brother Xavier to I'll die. i resource and take some damage. Cool. Brother Xavier dies. <laughs> I'm going to ping this guy for two. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, I want the money. There was five on him, which is seven. So I'm just going to remember seven for no reason in particular. Um, yeah, like I'm probably just not going to use my other action. No, have him join the ghoul the yeah, gang. he's in the ghoul gang. Come on in, yeah, buddy. Now you can do an action. Oh, is that a, like a lightning bolt? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I know, right? I'll gain a resource. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Look, I don't know what you want. I just compressed like three turns worth of shit into one turn. I'm going to spend seven and bring these FBI agents. I know, I understand. That's sick. <laughs> Everybody's compressing it. All right, Dexter's so good at everything. I get that. Uh, that means I have the right to spend some turn doing nothing. Yeah, no, I've been doing that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, no, I get you. I get you. Oh man, what if Cool Gang beat the shit out of this spider? He has to exhaust to attack. So like next turn. Oh my god. What do you, what mean? you mean? Oh my god. He gets to exhaust to just beat enemies for free. Not yeah. just beat enemies, but he's just like, come on to the Ghoul Gang, and they're like, yes, sir. <laughs> and then next, and then in the future, he's like, we're gonna go rough up that spider lady, and they're like, yeah, let's do it. There's like a billion of us. Yeah. There's like three of us. <laughs> It's a billion of us, and the ghouls are like a billion. That's like a lot. We're gonna lie, shoot these guys. Count that there's only three. Four, <laughs> five, six, seven. Oh. Yeah, he's ready um, to be inspired. Yeah. It's maybe a mob of ghouls. 
I have a free damage coming if that matters. It's just also going to ping him during this window. I think having the agency back up is just... Mm. Oh, shit. I hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Uh, we'll stand this guy up and heal him. Free. All right, cards and resources. Hello. I'll spend the resource, or uh, Ancient Snowman ding that guy. When I drop oh, my card. Oh, then I'll also just kill him. Easy. Neat. Soul of fish. <clears throat> oh my god. Back Flip. Cards. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Shuffle these two. We're good until it gets to five? Yeah. If it, like, when it hits five, when it flips. When it hits five. So it flips, adds one, then checks. Okay. So we have two more activations. Like Eight. one in a bit. Yeah. So we have seven two. Yeah, ones. not quite two. I think we can do it, though. I, I'm i feeling good, but yeah. there's not there's no locations left. That's so, good, yeah. That is good. And uh, I honestly think that, yeah, I mean, we can just, this like... This team is so good. It's... For the amount of nothing we do sometimes. It's very good. <laughs> like, there is... Never, I think, going to be a better tank than this guy. Like He costs seven. There shouldn't be. Well, I'm sorry. I meant oh, Tommy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably. Unless they give us something ridiculous. Yeah. So, like, I'm up there for, like, she's an insane She's, speaker. yeah. She's... Like, actually... Oh, ridiculous. shit! A I'm doll! <laughs> <laughs> it goes in the, the, the tunnel. So... <laughs> he's actually not that scary. No, he's Neat. just a big boy. Yeah. This is a big spoiler. Okay, we can't move all that things ready. I got gas. Cool. Oh, you're standing up. Just stand. I think you're also ready. I can't quite deal with this one for free. All right. Just ripped as many things on him. Okay, um, I'll go first. Richard out to Penguin's gonna punch that gas. Yeah. <laughs> Ghouls love tearing apart gas. But <laughs> at the end you. of this game, punch that gas. Five to two. <laughs> he is dead. Good job, ghoul gang. Do you need extra punch? Uh, I'll shoot for my first one. Because I've got like a lot of icons on cards. So. Yeah, let's go for it. Give me one. I have sure. seven. Here, you can have this shriveling. I'm like 95% sure I don't actually even want this in my deck anymore. Eight to four. He'll take two damage. Easy. Um, action three. Oh, you don't have any bullets left. Though. That's no, not I so don't. Good. Uh, I'm just going to... We have to kill him though before we can move. Travis can draw cards and do that though. Let's see. Yeah, like you I can draw can... two cards. Like two cards and deal two damage, right? Yeah, I can deal damage for like every card I draw. I'll ping one on him with the agency backup. And um, for my last one, we're just going to gain four resources. That's me. <clears throat> Travis will want to go next. Yeah, I guess so. Dole, dole, dole. Oh, you're gonna move in here, huh? Well, you have some cops to deal with. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna play calling in favors and pick up this rook. <laughs> I'm only looking for one ally for this though, and I'm I'm not using this ability. Is what I'm getting at. Yep. It's just a normal one. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's pretty tough. Well, I'll fail to find on that. I guess I don't really. I can't pay for another copy of Fat Man, so whatever. Well, that guy's ready to a location we can't move? Yeah. Yes. Or so I cannot take the move action. You could warp away. Okay. Um, Travis like, well, in that case. Well, no, I'm going to use this and evade that guy. That's pretty cool. And I can shuffle these segments on and it's back to my tiny deck. No. Eh. <sighs> Now I can leave if I want. Yep. I will leave. Sure. How about this one, Travis? Sure. 
whatever. Uh, you don't guys want more? No, I got one more. I'm gonna investigate with my arcade glyphs. Shroud of three. So we got six, seven from this deduction. Seven three. Minus, Minus three. three. Four to three? Yep. So you get two clues? Yep. Thanks, Faye. It's not what I was hoping for, but you know, okay. If you want to leave like one clue, I can come in with this guy and pick yeah, it sure. up. And you hover up my leftovers? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm done now. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. Witness the power of this fully armed and operational knife. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to move to one of those locations because you got this, right, Justin? Yeah, I'm sure I do. Okay. I believe you. I'm going to fire off this. Right it's easy. <laughs> so, is this three shroud? I have. Oh, uh, yeah, three shroud. Five, six, Bran. What's the worst that could happen? You lose your last action, um, Bran. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess I can fire this as well. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. think I want to. Though. I can spend my turn, like, finishing this off, but I figured it was more valuable for me to go and get the clues. Yeah, clues. yeah. I mean, I can, I can tank these Minus guys for a bit, too, because this doll's going to also come and beat me. I'll take but two clues, please. I'm not worried. That's fine. I always come back if I need to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I didn't have like a very like the way I could deal two damage was like just by drawing two cards. cards. Yeah, because Mr. Rook was secretless. Yeah. Um, that's turn. Yep. Cards and resources. Oh, sorry. This guy comes and beans me. He's massive. Ooh, <laughs> that's cool. So we're gonna go here and then here. You're fine. Yeah, I'm doing great. <laughs> Uh, cards and resources. Let me know if you need me to take damage at some point in this game, by the way. <laughs> I'll let you I know. haven't had to have any, I'm not, I'm any not damage in my invest here yet. Test brain two for you. Skips for each damage on the scenario card. If you fail, take one damage, one heart. Okay. That one's got three art. It um, does. What does it do? Uh, it gets... Well, if I fail, I take one damage and one horror. Do you care about that? No. Okay, cool. Then I'm not doing anything about it. I fail. Does Dole do? <laughs> Fuck you, Dole. You think I'm scared? Come over here. It's a party. I have my knife. <laughs> I'm so fast. <laughs> Foot bad. Foot bad, you Imagine said. if I was just like punch bad. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, no! Why would you do this? <laughs> Alright, well, Travis, how about I go first? Because then you can kind of like. Yeah, do it, man. See what happens. If you could kill that guy, like, walk in here, soak up the, suck up his last clue with your agency. Man, I think I'm actually just going to walk in here. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, can't. Oh, right, because I yeah. can't move because he's a fucking asshole. Like, I could All come right. there and maybe kill it if you want. Um. Yeah, I wanted him to attack me so that this got loaded up. So I could load up Becky, but... Do I still want that? Do I just want Becky to be super loaded? Yes, I do. I'm going to spend three resources to drop down this True Grit. Uh, he's going to put one on this, one on that. Becky's going to get loaded up with my love of Becky. Never say that again. <laughs> oh, he gets he gets knocked out by some criminal. He starts going through his wallet. It's just pictures of his gun. And the, the criminal's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> um, action two. We're gonna take a shot at this guy. So we have five, six, seven to four. Three is where we want to be. Three is the majority of the I things. I need to my deck. Yeah, he's dead. Um, then for my last trick, we're going to move into here and lightning bolt that clue into my pocket. Are you going to flip the thing? Uh, no, I'll let you do it. Okay. Just kidding. It's a lightning bolt. I forgot about like. that. <laughs> um, we need to have nine clues. We have nine. We do. Good job, team. Uh, the investigators, you row farther out into the deeper, darker waters, but there's still no sign of any other shore. Under the surface of the black tarry liquid, you can see a series of glist glittering stars, like an unknown constellation, beckoning you forward. 
If you didn't know any better, you would think it was a reflection of the sky above, but there's no sky in this dark realm. You lean over the edge of your boat and nearly vomit from the sensation of vertigo that assaults you. You must be hundreds of miles deep and filled with horrors beyond your imagining, and yet you know what you must do. Spend nine clues. Advance the current act. I think we did it. A pit of fear grows in your chest as you gaze into the thick, dark water. This is thick. the source. Whatever is below the surface of the sea, it holds the answer to everything that has trans transpired thus far in the waking world. Perhaps you can even find a way to save your friends, or perhaps the ocean will simply swallow you alive. You have no way of knowing for certain. You stand and take a final breath, clenching your fist tightly. Then you take a leap of faith. Resolution one. Oh, easy. That was actually incredibly easy, though. There's no point that I ever felt threatened. But The black tarry liquid arises around you, consuming you, and you fear that you've made a grave mistake. The pressure of the dense liquid surrounds your body, crushing you from all sides. But then you emerge on the other side. You fall for a brief, silent moment before being caught by a glowing, sinewy web. Panicking, you scramble to a nearby platform made of solid rock. Your refuge is one of many, each suspended in the air and connected by thick webbing. Beyond that is a vast cosmic space, an infinite darkness that stretches as far as the eye can see. For each damage on the scenario, reference card record one tally mark next to steps of the bridge. Three? Yeah. Not bad. Each investigates victory X. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, sick. We get an early today, too. This is five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 That's so much. Oh, it sounds like another agency back up to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not two more? <laughs> no, I could buy a five-costed exceptional card, like key of these. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so of note, there would have been one that's bad where it actually resets the clues on all of them. That's pretty shit. And shuffles them up so we don't know which is which. Yeah, I think uh, we would have been able to handle yeah. that anyway. Yeah, yeah, just would have been a small hiccup. Um, Airlid 3, The Great Ones. Oh, look at that. Think they're talking about Ashlyn and Akka? Oh man, oh my god. The Great Ones won. Following scenario 3A, the dreamers are on their way to the cold wastes wherein lies unknown Kadath. You were nudged out of a sleepless reverie by a furry forehead. You look down to find the black cat peering god at damn you. It. Hey, I see you've made some progress. You're not quite sure if you would call this progress. Though you're finally on your way to the cold wastes, you haven't pinned down the exact location of unknown Kadath, and you have no idea what to expect when you arrive. Check the campaign log. I expect hypnos. Uh, read the section applies your situation. Thanks. <laughs> I can't remember. Shit, right? Truth in the path is that one? No. Aster? Dreamers grow weaker. The dreamers grow weaker. Oh. Whoa, the cat says suddenly. You're not looking too good, you know. It gazes up at you with unconcerned but curious eyes. You ask what it means. You can't tell? You look sick. You eat enough? Whatever, it doesn't matter. You can walk, can't you? That's good enough. Depending on your difficulty, add a token to the chaos bag for the dream quest. We get a minus four. Uh, do we ask for it? No. That's good. No, I'm pretty sure asking the one that leads to asking for it was the one that we all agreed was bad. Randolph did not survive the voyage and the black has searching for the truth. Where's what's-his-name, the black cat asks, searching for Randolph. You try to explain what happened, but you can barely choke out the words. Say no more, I get it. The cat ponders the situation, not seeming to care much about Randolph's terrible fate. Well, I guess the thing I was going to say is no longer going to be said, it reels. In both campaign logs, cross off the black cat is searching for the truth. You ask the black cat if it knows what you'll find in Kadath. Sort of, it answers. I've foreseen your arrival in Kadath for some time now. I've seen a lot of this, in fact. But it's, well, it's not playing out exactly the same way. Maybe I just didn't see it the same way. Regardless, I think you're on the right path. After all, it's the only path that's left. I know a little more about what you'll see when you get there, but I'm afraid that if I tell you, you'll see it differently, too. Don't worry about me. You're doing fine. Get to Kadath. Find the land of the Great Ones. Everything else will fall into place when you arrive as long as you don't mess this up. 
These beings that you face, the ones whose names I do not wish to speak, they don't just threaten the dreamlands, they threaten existence itself. Now, oh. if you'll excuse me, I have somewhere to be. Check the campaign log. The black cat has a hunch. Yeah. It bounds off into the void of space before you get the chance to ask it anything else. Oh. Okay. I hate this black cat. The great ones too. The Following scenario so through EBE, <laughs> the investigators have reached a cosmic penumbra between worlds. A cat's low-pitched wail draws your attention to a nearby web. When you arrive, you find the black cat stuck on a patch of particularly sticky web, wriggling back and forth in a vain attempt to free itself. Even with its sharp claws, it seems to be in trouble. You lean over and pull the cat free, and it leaps from your arms to a rocky platform below. The only thing between the cat and the endless void. It hisses for a moment and stands tall. Did I ask for your help, it scolds? Well, you may be below the sea of pitch after all. Now, look around you. See all this webbing? You couldn't miss it even if you tried. You're surrounded on all sides by webs, treacherous pathways across the ether. It's a bridge between your world and the dreamlands. If it's completed, the two will merge. Understand? Unless you want everything to look like that hospital where your friends are sleeping, you have to stop this at all costs. Nothing else matters. Nothing. Read the one that applies to us. Uh. No. Black cat searching for the truth. No. I don't think we get either of these. Oh, good interlude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, before I forget, your friends have almost made it to their destination. If everything happens as I've foreseen, they'll be able to free themselves. In the meantime, they want me to let you know. Uh. Like, neither of them, I think? Otherwise, it does that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we get out of these. Huh. Yeah. Oh. No, that's it. Weird. All right. What an interlude. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode of Where Gods Dwell. And that god, he's a big boy. Just a big long tongue, really. Uh, yeah. See ya.